Buongiorno, mi amici. We are watching Call of Duty 4. It's the Fofos versus Ox. And uh, we have one of the favorites for this tournament. We saw one of the other favorites for this tournament, Red Bite, uh, yesterday in action. And uh, they too were facing off against the Fofos. So now we're about to see uh, what uh, Ox are uh, up to. And uh, joining me is the one and only, the delectable Lee D. Man Smith. Delectable. Delectable. I'm not even sure what that word I means, but it's positive. It's I don't think I've word. ever been called that before, I've got to be honest, but uh, I'll take it with a pinch many of salt things. from Stuart there. They're called many things that you can't repeat on camera. So we're going to jump straight into it. It is uh, the Fofos versus Ox. As you can see, they already started. We uh, we were told about it a little late, but we've uh, we managed to jump straight into it. So it is 4-3 to Ox already, and uh, a quick jump around Ox, the... Uh, no, that's a lie. That's going to be the Fofos. Uh, I'm assuming unless the positions are all completely out. Ox are surely the ones attacking in the, since they're around Kebab House. Uh, yeah, they've got to be. So Fofos must be the defensive side. No. But the attacking side. <laughs> the bomb sites are at the top here. Hey, it's not been that long since I did Call of Duty 4. <laughs> but... Um, at the moment, it is uh, Fofos in all sorts of trouble, and Ox do take them down, and that is 5-3 the score. So, well, I mean, Ox, we saw the Fofos yesterday. They were against uh, Fofos, a.k.a. Gaming SK, anyone that would have seen it before the tournament. They uh, they call themselves the Fofos throughout this tournament. They've actually changed it in the uh, on the on the challenge.com. Uh, yeah, suddenly, I'd never heard of this challenge.com, and now I've seen it in a, on two websites as well. well. It's uh, Yeah, it seems like a nice little challenging site. See what I did there? Oh, I did. Must be f someone French who made this. Yeah, anyway, a, here we go. It's a morning. On, on board with G-Lady. We uh, said much about uh, who's that lady yesterday. And uh, today we're going to start singing the song. As uh, G-Lady flies in the melon room. Five Ox players left to uh, dispatch off. As, uh, there's one just beneath that. And uh, it's picked off by Micro. Mirko. Um, as... Trunk and Fint have to uh, get themselves some damage done. And Trunk has done very well. A double headshot. And Ox find themselves now all tied back up at three on three. After Trunk's frags. Looking on with Fint, who it doesn't matter the scenario. Fint lives to rifle. As uh, he has the sniper in hand. And doesn't really care whether it's appropriate. But a bullet to the groin is always appropriate. As uh, he takes out an opponent. We're at two on two. He almost took out his teammate on the other side. Trunk's gone walkies. Um, bomb. Oh, Fint's got himself a second frag. Fint had his Weedabix this morning, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's going to try and make his way in towards the snipe. Uh, sorry, in towards oh. the bomb. It is uh, going to be a great frag from Mesa there to take out Trunk and leave us in a one versus one. Bomb planted. Fint's got himself away. Fint has dropped that sniper rifle. I don't know whether he's going to be confident without it. As uh, you see the bomb passed as Messer makes his way in. Now it's going to be Messer to find the frag. And that'll be the next round going to the Ox side. And uh, it will be 6-3. to three. Good work from Ox. And uh, they are as solid as an Ox. Solid as an Ox. But uh, we're throwing them all out there. Fint, though, he, couldn't, he really couldn't hit the frags yesterday. Now he's uh, hit two great ones there in that round. But... It was scope versus scope with the SMGs and quite happily landing them. Trunk managing to get it open in the grenade frag, dashing through the smoke. I'm going to switch the action because I've managed to miss it there. Ox have gone very aggressive there, up already up into the uh, up into the top by A site. B site, in fact, it is the top, isn't it? It's a big B in the top left of your screen there that kind of <laughs> gives it away. I mean. <laughs> this isn't like CS where you sometimes have to just use your memory. You can't just look. At the moment, it's all calmed down. It's back to three on three. Mesa looking through his scope. Trunk was just to the left side there last round, so I'm guessing he's going to be there again. He is not. He's going to go, go for the bomb plant. Which means Fint is co laying the cover fire down. Mesa was just to the side, remember, in that alleyway. Trying to switch back to him. He's got Umber to the side as well. Fint with the scope. He just caught a glimpse of someone in kebab. There, he needed a good three, two or three looks at him. Didn't fancy taking the shot the first time. Tries to cover the sniper, gets taken down by him though, and Micro comes straight round the just trunk down. It is Sexer, the last man standing. Sexer just managed to land the frag on Mirko, going round the bomb side, but Messer just comes straight up street with that deagle, 
and 7-3 and Ox looking strong here on the uh, crossfire. I'm not too sure, I'm assuming this is a uh, same structure as yesterday, 25 uh, score to start, so not the usual MR13 that uh, viewers may well be used to. No, and I'm not sure whether that'll last beyond the group stage or what will happen, but every, all eyes are on Ox and Red Bite as to where, what they're able to do in this tournament. They will be meeting in the final, I'm sure. And there's the first frag, it's Boons that goes down for the Fofos as uh, Mirko has uh, got himself uh, frag number one and number two on to that sexy lady coming through the melon house. And uh, now it is all on the uh, Ox side to find the last man who is Finta, who's having a blinder, it's got to be said this morning. Yesterday, couldn't score in a brothel, as I may have mentioned once or twice, but today, well, let's just say he is getting on very well in that brothel. It's costing him a lot of money, <laughs> but he's getting on very well. And as, uh, he lines up that sniper. It would be an ace if he landed this, Finta. Um, and what an ace in the 40 seconds that remain as we <laughs> scan through the remaining players who are all stationary and say, hey, Finta, you come to me. Something he is duly doing in a slow and leisurely fashion. So he hops himself around the corner, looking in towards Melon. Still, some movement, and now Mirko thinks he's got himself the frag. Where is Finter? He's in trouble, but he gets himself out of it with that frag. Now looks down to the right. The clock ticks ever louder as Finter needs to get into that site now. The time really is against him. Pokes his head out, and then is fragged by Mesa. Good work from Finter. Got himself three frags, and, well, I was unlucky. He was a little unlucky. Time was against him. So let's follow uh, Messi with that scope through Kebab. He's going to try and land the opening frag. Nobody going across, which means it may well be an A-push. Uh, he just didn't see anyone. Goes for a couple of uh, random shots, trying his best to get hit someone through the smoke. Doesn't. Leo does. Finds Trunk. Trunk dashing down the uh, left-hand side of the map. As we see Boone with the bomb, he's making his way through Melon Room in towards the bomb site at B. G-Lady Disc in it. Grenade frag, so it's four and four all square. Mesa still scoping round. You can see the uh, Fintz shots, the tracer fire going across towards the left-hand side, so he must be over in top melon room as well. Mirko does find one. And he was, he's down in kebab. Takes a peek around. Smoke goes down onto the bomb site. Are uh, they going to go down? The covering fire goes in. Ox waits and sees he didn't hear anything go, didn't hear no bomb site sounds. Maybe has there, I don't know. I couldn't hear it myself, and maybe he's got better hearing than me. Well, it's entirely possible. I'm getting old. Umba. Lay who. They've got good eyes on the bomb site, really. Here. Ox, they've no need to go pushing forward. Smoke goes down once again. He just got a glimpse of someone through the complex, and the bomb is going to go down. It is Fint trying to plant it. He's getting a lot of fire coming to his way, but he manages to get it down nicely there. Dashes away and survives. This is not the same Fint as yesterday. This is not the same Fint. Is it okay? He's like a new man. These are not the droids you're looking for. He's had a good night's sleep, maybe a night of partying, I don't know. Maybe whatever he needed to get out of his system. And Ox have moved in. Strong forces. This is exactly what they need to do. They've got four men coming in. Did he just run out of bullets as he came around the corner? I'm not too sure. But they did manage to get the defuse, and wow. <laughs> Three men left standing. A great plant, and yet they just completely abandoned the bomb site. I don't understand what that was all about. Well, the other problem was that uh, when they planted the bomb, it was almost too good of a plant. That position covered Fint really well, uh, but then didn't offer any sort of assistance. So really, uh, really kind of let, helped the bomb planter as well, because he was, uh, sorry, bomb diffuser, because he was equally covered. Anyway, 9-3 the score as we switch over for this uh, second half. The Fofos are uh, under the cosh once more. And uh, just to comment on a previous thing you said, Lee, yes, you are getting old. Um, <laughs> I didn't pick up on that at the time, and I, I apologize for not abusing you. Uh, as uh, Sexus gets himself picked off by Shah this time, who is uh, twitchy as the Fofos have uh, got his position locked down. He's a little concerned about running out of there because there's a man with a gun, and he will get away from there. Needs over towards the back and is in a great position if anyone went into that site. Um, but doesn't have a, a teammate with the bomb, I think. Uh, Messer now has the bomb, but uh, he is too busy looking over towards that bottom right-hand site to see whether there is uh, anyone to snipe at. Drops the bomb. 
Perhaps for Shah, but Shah's gone walk easy. That's a month bomb. Uh, but that is also going to allow Mesa to go walk himself. Here he goes, in towards that site. Tries for the bait. No fishies biting on his rod. And now Mesa will go and get himself one. There's another frag to be had, and it's Finta. Finta has been the man of the morning for the Fofos. And uh, Mesa has to dart back and get this bomb down. So it'll be sniper to sniper. And so the nade lands in on that site, and Mesa escapes. Let's see. Finta has been close, but no cigar on many a round for the Fofos. Will this be his moment? Yes, I can hear him. At least I can hear him because he's right in front of him. And that's frag number, <coughs> or round number 10 uh, for the Oxide. Yeah, scope on scope once again. And Mesa really has been a man. Like you said, Fint has been the man for uh, the Fofo. So the two scopes doing it, doing the work r well on Crossfire, as uh, is often the case. We've got them long shots down. Street grenades coming past. G-Lady cannot see a thing. Just going to continue running, plowing up that street and pray. No managed to dive, looked like by Kebab, no straight, mid-street, still sexy. Just about dodging as much as he could, but Mesa was there. Mirko did get the bomb down straight away, though. So it was a quick plant, good good blinding work from uh, Ox, but uh, Grenade from Sexus has taken down Leho. That's in the, uh, I think that was in Melon Room. It looked like he was just to the right-hand side of Mirko. Uh, Sexa comes through there, taking down Mesa. Mirko does pick up another there. It is Boone's the last man standing. Mirko, you've got to assume, since we're at the UGC, named after that famous UFC fighter, Mirko Krokamp. I, I don't know whether that's the case. I'm pretty sure that he, he's been Mirko long before UFC. Mirko Krokop has been around for a long time. He's a big, famous Czech Republic fighter. And I'm assuming since... There are a lot of people in the Eastern Bloc called Mirko, though. There, there is. There is. You are correct. But he Gee is... Cute lady kept himself a frag. <laughs> Shines down. I love the way that uh, everything with D-Man, just so you're aware, is somehow related to UGC, uh, as to, to UFC. So, for example, when we got here and, it was, <laughs> and he found out the event was called the UGC, it's like, I'm pretty sure they wanted it to sound like the UFC, so they called it the UGC. Ultimate Gaming Championship, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Do you think there's that, that Sturmy? The Just fastest the growing decision. sports in the in the world is electronic sports, and we're bringing you the best of it here on Quad V. As Finter gets dropped by Mesa, and uh, it's now all on Sexus to show us his moves, and he hasn't got any. It's 12 to 3. It's very one-sided now. It is very one-sided, but that doesn't mean we don't love it any less. Indeed. Got to support the community and all. No, we don't. According to Aerox and Metus and various other people, we're only doing this because we're getting paid £800 a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and I don't think 800 a minute is enough. <laughs> For some of these games, you may well question that figure. <laughs> so, Mirko going in with the bomb. Going to get it planted in... No, that's the fake. Hops on the bus and gets taken down by Fint. Finn is really the last man standing once again for the Fofos. He's uh, managing to keep himself alive quite well here. He's got the entire, he's got three members of uh, Ox all trying to close him down. The bomb has been planted and uh, Shah really has his number. Will he manage to take him down? Did Finn just sneak around the side there? That's what Shah seems to think he did. Got a glimpse, just got a glimpse of him around the side. Two on one situation and completely pinned down the alleyway. 13 3. And this is domination from Ox. Really is uh, Ox. In the driving seat, as the Fofos are going to have to find themselves uh, something uh, special. The G-Lady, every time we've watched him, has uh, really failed to deliver, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to follow Mirko, because apparently Mirko's from UFC. And uh, <laughs> he's clearly going to be a beast. Oh, double grenade. And uh, do you think that Umbe did that because someone from UFC once got two kills <laughs> playing a video game? Here we go. Umbe's he's got, got three. three. That must be, he must have watched two UFC fights or something. And uh, now it's G-Lady downed by Shah. There's uh, only Sex and Fint left, and uh, Fint's got himself a great frag there. As that uh, mess up fell between the scopes, and Fint is on his lonesome once again. And, you know, Fint has been top fragging for one reason and another, but he's been helped by the fact he's always had plenty of people to shoot at. You know, they have always left him a good choice. It's like... Being the last one to arrive at a buffet that no one's touched, you're going to eat a lot. And 
Fent has got himself lots of frags as a result. Shaw downed. Now it's uh, Fent to... Oh, he saw someone then, but he shot a million miles over his head. And he's one versus two to try and reclaim that bomb. Makes his way across, throws out a smoke, and waits. Shot's coming his way. Tries to bait out the uh, the man with the around the site, but Mirko, the beastly man from UFC, has finished him off, and that is 14 rounds to three. Uh, you you must be proud of your boy there, I'm Lee. I'm proud of Mirko, though. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> We're going to follow Mirko as he tosses out the uh, smoke and a nade. I see it was a flash and a nade. I think the first one went out there. He's going to pick up the bombs. So he's going to go to the side. And the uh, opening frag goes to the Fofo as it was Leo. And now he's rushing straight through the side. It's Shah. He's uh, managed to get himself straight through. He wasn't happy with his position. Runs straight back. Mirko tries to move in with that bomb. Smoked it up early. Is he going to go for a quick plant? I don't think he is. He didn't really have the team set up in place. If you look at the map in the top left hand corner, you can see. He's got three men waiting for him to try and plant that bomb. And the fire's surely going to come in the moment he does it from Kebab. Just saw a muzzle flash over from the alleyway there. I think it was Umba going around, taking down G-Lady. Messer from long range. Shah does go down to Fint. Mirko still not going to get that plant down. Happy in that position. You can still see one in that top corner there. Just outside Melon. And uh, Mirko does take a lot of fire there. It was Boone that finally downed him. Trunk does finally move up into Melon room. And uh, Messer, now the last man standing for Ox. They're trying to find him. He is the top fragger for uh, Ox, I believe, or he was. Last time I looked, <coughs> tries to get a glimpse on Finn. But he's around there somewhere. He's sure of it. Does catch a glimpse. Swoops around with a deagle. I don't think it was actually Fint, unless it was a complete was Fint. Must have been a moving scope shot there, or a no scope. And here we are with... That last round just got to Lee. Yeah, it's Mirko, he went down early. <laughs> Finn picks himself up the frag and, uh, well, despite the fact he has often been left alone to find frags, he's finding them regardless. He's got frag number two on this one. Mirko has uh, got himself, uh, well, he's still alive, in fact, and he's the only one alive right now. And so we'll find him. Can he be the beast that Lee wants him to be? No! As Trunk downs him. And the round goes the way of the Fofos. 14-5. Five. five to go in this map. Well, somewhat mirroring Mirko Krokop's last fight against Brendan Schwab there, which was just last week. Downed by, also Mir downed by a killer punch. Mirko Jovanovic, who you've never heard of, but... Of you. Yes, I just made him up. <laughs> I but thought you may have, to be honest. I'm sure there's a guy I wasn't Marco taking Ivanovic. the bait, <laughs> I assume you. But uh, moving on to the game in hand, Fint does get himself another frag. Messer Shah Umber left for Ox. Sexer and Fint for the Fofos. As Umber just put a fire over to Kebab. Takes a peek back to the alley, doesn't find anyone there. Fint with eyes on the bomb site. So it was actually where Umber was aiming at. Umber's just uh, staying in that position on the top complex. Finter, just, uh, they're, they're not rushing for it. They don't need to. The bomber, as you can see, is uh, on the ground. Messer's trying to find Finter. Finter was up that way. And actually, I just saw, I think it's uh, somebody is up in that building. It was Is it Shah that was up there? Yes, it is Shah. So Shah's just above Fint at the moment. He's going to find Fint surely as soon as he comes around this corner. Unless he's been sneaky and moved. He didn't even look in that corner, but Sexer was there in the kebab to cover. Where's Fint? Fint was still in that building. Oh, a clear shot there. Messer was never going to land that bomb. And Umber, the last man standing, it is Umber versus Fint now. But uh, Umber's got 20 seconds to get over to that bomb site, and Fint knows it. He's just going to cover him. The bu he just took eyes completely off it in the moment he needed to do it. So he's going to go for the bomb plant. He needs to rush in and go for it. Explosives planted. Oh, and he missed it. He had his chance and didn't take it. Tries to take a cheeky shot on bomb. Tries to go for a free shot while jumping out of the window. Didn't happen. And now it is all on the Fofos. Finter once again trying to have to pull it out for his team. Umba, will he defend it? Unlike the Fofos did. He's going looking with his deagle. 23 seconds to defuse. And i got to be honest, I think he's... He's wasted too much time there going around. He's really not found him, and he's clearly gone into that top corner house. 
No, he's not. He's <laughs> Clearly he has. Clearly he is. He's there in that top okay, corner well Yeah, thank you very much. Smoke down. Oh, but he's just he's just hoping and praying. There he is. Gets the knife on Finn. 15-5 the score. Ox really in a dominant position here. Let's have a quick look at the scores. And, uh, well, top frag is now... Uh, Joint Umbers managed to work his way up there, but Fint clearly running it away with it for uh, the Fofos. And Fint, who we watched yesterday sniping Could. everywhere and couldn't hear the damn thing, is playing brilliantly this morning. Um, but that's because he was using a scope on backlot. Yeah, yeah we, we, about five years ago, we decided the scope on backlot wasn't good. That's five years before the game was released. <laughs> that's, that's how much we knew at Quad B. Of course, for a more educated opinion, you could ask Metas. As uh, now Messer is going to make his way through. Frag comes in from Sexest. And uh, now it will be Shark going hunting for the last frag. It's on Sexest. He's going to have to bring Sexy back as he makes his way around. Spice the first has... One going to be coming from the right any second, but he gets the man from the left. It was Shaw. Is he able to uh, do anything? All eyes will be trained on that little house as bullets start to rain in and Sexass finds himself looking a little less sexy with a bullet in his buttocks, but he's made his way through to the bomb site magically against Mirko and Umba, but they're not giving up without a fight and Umba finds the finishing frag 21 rounds down on this map. First to 25 is the uh, is the way to win it. So we have just four left on map number one. We do indeed. It is uh, four, three, you mean. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Who needs maths these days, kids? Yeah. Won't help you ever. Education clearly was better in the olden days. <laughs> they had abacuses and uh, <laughs> slate. Hey, don't knock the abacus. It's how the way the uh, Hong Kong, that's how they teach them early on. It's the best method. So there we go. Sexus does manage to get a the grenade. I, I can show you that evidence. That tidbit is brought to you by I can by show Lee you Lee evidence Smith. if you like. It's amazing. Come up with another interesting story for the next round. Yeah, well, we'll do. <laughs> It could be UFC related, we don't know, but yeah, it's Finta or uh, Mesa being tagged up. Finta is once again the last man standing, or, well, he will be any moment as soon as Boone goes down. But Boone hanging on in, but finally Umber takes him down. Umber now top frag for Ox, and Fint does land that frag onto Mesa. So it is, oh, and a beautiful deagle shot onto Umber there. And Finta lands it when it counts, or, uh, well, it counted probably about 10 rounds ago, but he's landing it when it counts-ish. He is, he's uh, playing well. We're going to stick with him if I can find him. Here he is. Uh, he's been... Fragging left, right, and center. Now, having said all this, he's about to get naded, I'm sure. Uh, unfortunately, those two nades land short, and the Fofos do actually open up with a, uh, with a grenade frag, and uh, Boone has got himself frag number two. So the Fofos, in great shape, will switch over now to Messer and his sniper as he quickly gets himself behind that truck, but Finter and Trunk have both got themselves frags. It leaves just one man left standing. It is Umba. Umba has uh, had a great game thus far, but he needlessly gives his position away there. And that's cost them the round, 16 to 7. It is the last round of the half. Lee, what's your interesting fact for us? I've not really got one. I've got to be honest. <laughs> I was more thinking of the game in hand. And I'm thinking the Fofos, if they do work their way back into this, they can just get this last round. You know, it's an eight-round difference. But if it, I, I know what the next map is, whether it is the Fofos map, then maybe if it goes to uh, Crash, I think it was Crash they played yesterday, they were very strong. In fact, Backlot, they were very strong, wasn't it? Was it Fofos? Game oh, no, it was Red Bite, wasn't yeah. it? Red Bite completely. Fofos dominated. weren't strong yesterday. Fofos were not strong lives. yesterday, no, no. We'll, uh, we'll recall that fact for the day. I want an interesting fact from you, though, Lee. I, I will think of some interesting facts. I want one every round. One every round. That's asking a lot. Are you not an interesting person? I'm old. I've got a, I've got a you know, memory, memory tested. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't work like it used to. Bless. So Finta does get a headshot. Opens up the account, Trunk takes down Leo. Mirko with the bomb, comes around, knows there's someone there. Actually landed the, <laughs> landed the hit, Blips, but didn't finish him off. And now he's been blinded. He's got to be running out of bullets as well, but Trunk manages to take him down. Mirko, you let me down, man. You let me down there. So Sha and Mess are the last two standing for Ox. The bomber is loose in the melon room, and Sha has it is Trunk that's dashing around there. Trunk's backed off. He's going to have cover for, well, Trunk just laid down and took it there from Sharp. Knowing that the bomb planted was there. That's a, oh, lovely deagle shot from uh, Sharp there onto G-Lady. Finter and Sexus. So Finter does take down Mesa. So it is just oh, Sharp. Manages planted. to get the bomb down. Sexus and Finter need to move in for it. Where are they going to be? 
to follow Shah. Shah in the defensive position. He needs to be aware of Finter's scope peering into the melon ring while Sexus is surely going to be working his way in towards the bomb. There he is. Shah does take down Finter. One on one. He heard the bomb displacement. There it is. And Shah does close it out. Very nice work from Shah. I think he must have got about four in the end there. Didn't quite catch it all. But uh, we are going to be moving on to strike. That is the uh, final map. And it was 17-7, I believe, which is exactly the same score as we had yesterday. Red Bite versus uh, the Fofos.